So a while back, I made some videos comparing different uh, 60cc professional chainsaws. And in those videos, I talked about the fact that I had a log that I wanted to slab. And I thought that the uh, typical 24 inch bar would be just a little bit uh, too short to slab that log. And I didn't really want to bump up to a 28 inch bar. And so uh, Steel made a 25 inch bar, which I thought uh, might be just perfect for the job. Now after that, I got a bunch of comments to the effect that the uh, Steel 25 inch bar is really just a 24 inch bar and that steel is misleading customers. Well, uh, now I have a 25 inch bar mounted to a steel chainsaw and I've uh, since learned a lot about how manufacturers are advertising their bar length. So I thought I'd make this uh, short video. We're gonna uh, measure this uh, bar here and I'm gonna talk about how a bar length is actually measured. And uh, hopefully we can come to the conclusion as to whether or not this uh, steel bar is uh, truly a 25 inch bar or a 24 inch bar. So this is uh, Oregon's version of Steel's 25 inch bar mounted to a uh, Steel MS-362. The uh, bar is made to the same dimensions as the steel bar with uh, 84 links of a uh, 3 8 chain. Now if you look at uh, Oregon's website, this bar is actually listed as a 24 inch bar. Uh, Oregon also makes the same bar with uh, Husqvarna mounting holes and that bar is also listed as a 24 inch bar. So you can start to see where some of this confusion may come from. So I came across some online resources, including a, a really good video from Oregon, which I'll link down in the description section. Also, a lot of bars have a little diagram just about here, which will show you how the guide bar should be measured. And all the resources that I came across pretty well agreed that the uh, chain should be attached to the bar, which should be attached to the chainsaw. Then the uh, bar should be adjusted for proper chain tension. And then you take a measurement from the uh, side cover here, all the way to the uh, tip of the bar. And then uh, that measurement is uh, generally rounded up to the nearest even number of inches, although there are a few exceptions. Now uh, they call that the effective cutting length of the chainsaw, although it's uh, not necessarily the true cutting length. So just to see how uh, consistent this measurement method is across the industry, I grabbed a few different types of saws here. I have a, a couple of American brands, a Chinese brand, a, a German saw made in the US, and a German saw made in Germany. Now uh, this little saw here, I measured the uh, bar at nine and three quarters of an inch, and this listed as a 10 inch bar. This one I measured at uh, 13 and a quarter. It's listed as a 14 inch bar. Now this one I measured as uh, 16 and a half inches and they rounded all the way up to the nearest uh, even number of 18 inches. And then this one I measured 20 and an eighth and they actually rounded down to 20 inches. Now uh, rounding down seems a little odd compared to the others but keep in mind that um, this particular bar is going to mount to multiple steel uh, chainsaws and while it measures 20 and an eighth on this particular saw it may uh, measure something a little bit less on some of the other saws. Okay, so let's take a look at the effective cutting length of uh, Oregon's version of the uh, steel 25 inch bar. So measuring from the uh, side cover here to the tip of the bar, I have 24 and 3 8 inches. Now I guess I could round up to the nearest even number of inches and that would be uh, 26 inches, but uh, still opted to round up to 25 inches uh, which gives it a sort of a strange uh, odd number length, but uh, that's definitely more accurate. So as I mentioned before, this uh, same bar with the same length and even utilizing the same chain is also manufactured with uh, Husqvarna mounting holes. And Husqvarna and also uh, saws like this Makita, which use the Husqvarna mounts, they consider the same bar a 24 inch bar. So I uh, just out of curiosity, I wanted to see how this uh, bar measured on this chainsaw and I was able to get it to kind of fit although the adjustment screw didn't quite line up. So in order to tension the chain I uh, just did that manually with one hand while I tried measuring with the other hand and what I came up with was an effective cutting length uh, between about 24 inches and 24 and an eighth. So uh, this same bar is a little bit uh, longer in terms of effective cutting length when it's mounted to the steel as it is uh, when it's mounted to the Makita. And that's just because of the side cover designs and the uh, relative lengths between the side covers and the uh, tips of the bars. So there's only one more question in my mind, and that is if uh, Steel has already established their version of this bar to be a 25 inch bar, 
why does Oregon continue to list it as a 24 inch bar? Well, uh, from Oregon's perspective, the only difference between the bar that they make for uh, steels and the bar that they make for Husqvarna's and other saws that are using the Husqvarna mounts is just the uh, mounting holes. And uh, I think it's likely that there are more saws using the Husqvarna mounts than there are using the steel mounts. So it's probably just easier to use the same 24 inch designation for both versions of the same bar. So hopefully it makes sense how the same bar could be considered a 24 inch bar in some applications and a 25 inch bar in other applications, even though the measured difference was only a fraction of an inch. And uh, besides using a odd number for the uh, bar length, still didn't really do anything outside of the industry norms by rounding 24 and 3 eighths up to 25 inches. And uh, there's one more thing I wanted to point out, and that is uh, this way of measuring the bar should not be confused with the actual cutting length. I was noticing uh, when I took my measurements that basically every saw had a uh, case which protruded out farther than the uh, side cover, which means the case would be your limiting factor if you want to understand what the uh, true cutting length is of the saw. And also the chain has to move through the wood, so I guess I would include the uh, tip of the chain with any measurements for uh, true cutting length. So I hope this uh, video was helpful or useful in some way, and uh, we'll see you next time.